Hi everyone, my name is Mary Lou Areño. Welcome back to my channel, The Teacher's Best Friend. For today's episode, I am going to present to you series number four of the whole series on how to apply for a job in the United States without spending a fortune. So our fourth series is on credential evaluation. So what is a credential evaluation? Credential evaluation is the way in which academic and professional degrees earned in one country are compared to those earned in another. Universities, colleges, and employers around the world use credential evaluations to understand foreign education and to judge applicants for admission or employment. So if you are from the Philippines or any other countries and you wanted to work or study in the United States, you need to have your credential evaluation. So it means your transcripts from your country will be evaluated to see its equivalency or comparable to the United States. So how are we going to do that? First, you need to know what are the companies or agencies that do credential evaluation. Let me introduce to you NACES. NACES is a National Association of Credential Evaluation Services. And um, they believe that if your credential evaluator is a member of NACES, it can be uh, credible. And uh, employers or school, they recognize your credential evaluation if it comes from companies that are members of NACES. And you will see the lists. There are so many of them. And uh, for today, I am going to show you some websites, uh, four out of this list, just to see how they look like and what you can see in their website. So the first one is the ECE. And uh, this is how their website looks like if you would like to explore. And it's easy to use because uh, you can see the tabs there are on tops if you are um, applicants to the U.S. or they even um, do evaluation for Canada. And um, here you can see the different areas that you can click on and explore. So for uh, health professionals, you can go to healthcare compliance. And here for uh, the recruiters or institution professionals, so it's self-explanatory, just explore the website of the ECE. And these are the price list for their credential evaluation. Don't worry, I'll show you an example later of a video on how to use uh, websites for these cre cre uh, credential evaluation companies. And I want you to focus on the evaluation type. There are so many of them. So we have the general, uh, the general with GPA, course by course, or sometimes they do high school and university level course by course, subject analysis, and even scholar profiles. For the sake of employment in the United States, I would advise the you get the course by course because course by course, you can use it for your certification for your licensing and at the same time you can use it also for your application so when the employer required transcripts instead of giving your official transcript from your country you can just submit to them the cre credential evaluation copy which is the course by course and they have different prices as well and for ECE, the course by course uh, evaluation is $195 plus uh, other uh, fees such as the shipment or the delivery option. So you can read what applies to you. They have the U.S. priority or international or even overnight and all those rates. So you can just explore that. So another credential evaluation company it's called the GCE or it's the global credential evaluator um, 
I would say that uh, this agency it's trusted because I've been using this from I think 2012 when I did renew my certificate and I enrolled in a graduate studies I use GCE to do my credential evaluation and they are pretty much uh, affordable their course by course rate is 175 plus the shipping cost but the thing with GCE or the global credential evaluator is that you can submit as much document as you can they do not charge extra for every document so if you have uh, your bachelor and you have your masters your doctorate or you have uh, two masters whatever number of uh, transcripts that you will submit they will charge you the same rate on a course by course evaluation so that is the GCE another uh, evaluation agency that is uh, also popular especially with teachers who are uh, applying in the United States is the International Evaluation Service they usually call it the CARI or the Center for Applied Research Evaluation and Education so this is how the website looks like and um, this is the rate for CARI what is different in in their rate is that uh, they have specific rate for each education like if you choose here course by course so there is a rate for bachelor for masters for doctorate and they total those uh, amount so if you sum it up it's quite expensive so I'm just explaining to you that different credential evaluation companies they charge differently and they have a different requirements as well like depending on how many documents like carry charge for additional uh, $30 per additional um, document after your bachelor so that is the difference and um, another agency is uh, the West or World Education Services and this is how the website looks like and later I'll show you a short video on how to use this website they have a short clip that they use for uh, advertisement of their agency and this is the rate for their course by course so for credential evaluation using course by course they charge 205 and for the basic it's 160 plus the additional fees for shipment and if you need extra copies and all that but one thing you should remember is uh, this evaluation agency they also have the options for you to order a PDF file like they can send it to you through email so if you don't want uh, the evaluation document to be shipped to your address you can just order um, through email so that one uh, sometimes it's only free but uh, if your employer is asking for it then you can ship it to the employers address depending on your need so let's watch a recorded video by Wes US West application to start the application visit west.org and click get started this will provide an overview of the process first fill out the application and receive a West reference number then send us your documents according to our document requirements include your West reference number in all envelopes and correspondence you send us when your evaluation is complete will send your report to you and any recipients. In this video, we will show you how to complete our application. Click Apply Now to start the application. First, choose the country where you will use your report. In this example, we will use the U.S. Next, you will create your account. If you already started an application, you can log in from this screen. Provide your name and other personal information. If you applied for a WES evaluation in the past, you can click Yes and provide your WES reference number to link your account. You 
also have the option of receiving emails from us about our ongoing events and resources. To help you through the application, we offer additional information on many fields to help you understand what is required. We also have the helpful tool to type questions into to receive instant answers. Next, complete your personal information. Most of this page is already filled in with the information you provided earlier. You can click Save and Exit at any time during the application process to save your progress and return to the application. Now we need to know the purpose of your evaluation. This will help us recommend the right evaluation for you. You can choose from education, professional licensing or certification, employment, immigration, or choose other if you are not sure. We'll use education in this example. Select education and then provide the level of education you want to pursue. Let's choose graduate admissions for this example. Now it is time to add your education credentials, like a bachelor's degree, to an order. Click Add Credential to get started. In the pop-up that opens, add all the information about the credential. Some fields will auto-complete. You can type in your information if it is not already in the system. Be sure to enter your full name as it appears on each credential. Fill in the date your credential was awarded. If you are still working toward your credential, choose In Progress. Or if you did not finish your study, choose In Complete. Add the dates you attended that school and click Save. Repeat this process for all of the credentials you want to have evaluated by clicking the Add Another Credential button. Add or delete each entry by clicking the links to the right of the name of the credential. Next, tell us who you want your report sent to. You will always receive a copy of your report. You can choose to order additional copies for yourself if you like. Scroll down to add other recipients for your report. Simply search for the school or organization you want to receive your report. You can choose from the results or you can manually enter your recipient's information. When you click the name of the recipient, you may also need to choose the school or department that should receive your report. Then verify the address and add the contact person who should receive the report. Now that you have provided the information for your evaluation, it is time to select the type of report you need. Based on your previous entries, we will recommend the report to choose. You can choose a West Basic Package or West ICAP which will add copies of your transcripts to the report to send to your recipients. Scroll down and select your report type. Next, choose the delivery option for your report. You can choose a shipping method for each recipient. Finally, we provide you with the personalized document requirements for your report. These are all the documents you will need to submit and instructions for doing so. You will be able to access this later through my account. Now, all that's left is to review your order. Select the acknowledgement boxes and click Next. You can make a credit card or Western Union payment now, or select check or money order to receive instructions for submitting payment. Choose your payment method and click Submit. Once you submit your application, it will provide you with your REST reference number and a link to my account, where you can check the status of your application. Be sure to save your reference number. You will need it with submitting documents and if you need to contact our customer service team for assistance. Thank you for joining us. We look forward to servicing your credential evaluation teams. So that is the short video from Wes. They showed how to use their website in applying for credential evaluation. And remember, on the purpose, you always pick the for certification or licensing because uh, you can use that in anything. It's complete, the document by document, and the purpose is for certification or licensing. If you have that copy, you can use it also for employment or for applying in any job. So just take note of that. And uh, next, I will show you some example of uh, evaluation copy. And the first one, of uh, the sample is from the ECE. This is how their course by course evaluation looks like. So uh, you have the transcript from your home country and they will um, write the title of your course and see the equivalent of how many credit you earned. 
let's say um, in your home country, you earn the three credits. And in the U.S., they can say it's also three credits or it can even more or sometimes less. And they also state in your report what U.S. grade equivalent is uh, your grade uh, that you obtain in your home country. So these are um, how the course by course evaluation report looks like from the ECE. So another sample is uh, the general evaluation report, which I do not recommend this, especially for if you are applying for a job or for certification, because this is just a simple um, evaluation saying that your degree is equivalent to the degree in the United States and it doesn't say anything further. It's just validating that whatever bachelor's degree or master's degree that you obtain from your home country is equivalent to the United States degree. So this is just the very simple or general one. The other uh, type of report is they call it subject analysis uh, evaluation report. So here uh, you can also see the, the different subjects and the credits and uh, U.S. grades. So it's, it's pretty much similar to um, the course by course. That's why I recommend course by course instead because uh, that is uh, quite comprehensive and um, employers are... Uh, you know, sometimes that's the only one they need to see. If your degree is equivalent to the, the degree in the United States, if your grades and whatever credits you earn is also the same in the United States so that they can validate that you are qualified for the position that you are applying for. Okay? So thank you for uh, watching on this episode on credential evaluation. I hope you learned something from this presentation and I encourage you to explore the websites that I have shown to you and look back on the list of other agencies on NACES uh, that are members of NACES so you can explore them. And um, the one I showed is just the WES website and uh, how the evaluation process was conducted in that company but feel free to explore the other website and see how it works so if you're going to ask me which one is the uh, affordable among those uh, credential evaluators I would recommend uh, the GCE because uh, as you see their price list is lower and they don't have any limit on the documents that you will submit and they also give you a PDF copy through email. And um, even if you are from other country, it's easy. You can just upload the documents and uh, they can process it for you. So for the next series, we have uh, the interview preparation. So now that you already have your credential evaluation, and your documents uh, that are ready for submission in your application, you are ready for interview. So if your employer or uh, the company will call you for an interview, I will give you some tips so you can be ready. So see you in the next episode and thank you for watching. Bye for now and to God be the glory.